Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Catalina S. Hi. Oh, I know it's been forever since I posted on YouTube. 10 months. I know. It's mainly, I've just been lazy. I haven't felt like recording and just posting, but I've been really active on Instagram. So you can also follow me on there to see what I've been up to. Um, mainly what th today's video is going to be about workout shirts and also workout clothes in general. I was reminiscing back to the first time I started my journey and the hunt for workout clothes was literally scavenger hunt. Cause I, I, I did, I admit, I really wanted something cute and looking good, but then like, what the heck? I'm gonna be sweating so much anyway, might as well just do it on a cheaper budget and just look cool, casual, whatever. What I did find at Hobby Lobby, they have really good, cheap, just plain t-shirts. And I really, really like them. So I was able to get about four plain t-shirts back then. When I first started out, uh, I got a turquoise, a purple, a pink and a red yes oh and a highlighter highlighter yellow so yes i got five actually back then um recently aaron and i bought a house yay and right down the street from where we live there's a hobby lobby and it's not busy as the hobby lobbies in inner houston so whenever we we went to go check it out to see what all they had and I was able to get five other t-shirts. So I wanted just to show you what they look like and what brands they are. So that way you can check it out for yourself if you're starting out your journey or if you just want to go buy cheap workout t-shirts, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It'll be really, really awesome. So I'm about to show you. So the five t-shirts that I previously bought when I first started were the Gildan t-shirts, the uh, same five color t-shirts that I got. And then I ended up getting different colors of the ones that I didn't already have. I will be putting them on in a little bit for you just so that way you can see how they look. I will tell you this right now, I got extra large. I'm still in the 2X, but extra large, I decided to get that so that way that's you know my goal to get to an extra large they do have bigger sizes if you would like i want to say maybe three four x i want to say i want to say don't quote me on it i think i saw maybe a five x i'm not too sure but that was only one like they were literally running out of t-shirts at hobby lobby i decided to get an extra large so that way i can make it my goal to fit in them properly later so they're a little snug right now um except for the comfort color brand and i will show that to you in a little bit so i got a baseball tee because i love baseball and i like baseball tees this is one of the baseball tees that i got it's just white and gray gray sleeves uh the other baseball tee that i bought extra large so it's like a navy with the sleeves and then kind of grayish right here. I'm gonna put that on in a little bit. And then, um, so now with the Gildan brand, that other brand, I didn't know what, what kind of brand that was that I bought for the baseball tees, but baseball tee. And now uh, for the Gildan brand, extra large uh, maroon. I love maroon, especially in the fall. So there's a maroon one, about an orange. So I could look like a carrot. So an orange, there's that. And then now for the comfort color brand. Comfort color, comfort colors usually run a little big from what I've experienced back when I used to wear them in college and then found them at Hobby Lobby as well. So comfort color, bought this like in a, I really don't know what color this is, but I like it a lot. It doesn't say the color. I like this color. It goes really well with my pink shorts that I bought recently. Um, and then this is like a warm pink or so, something like that. Comfort color as well. So I'm going to try them on so that way you can see what they look like on me so that way you can estimate what size you want to wear. Remember, comfort colors runs a little bit bigger, like a little bit. Um, and 
I have bought extra large, so they are gonna fit me snug. So don't judge, okay? All right guys, so I am wearing the Comfort Colors t-shirt in warm pink. That's what I'm calling it right now. It's a little loose. It's extra large, so just so that way you know that Comfort Colors do run big. Now I'm wearing the other Comfort Color t-shirt in teal. Loose. Here is the Gildan brand in orange. As you can see, it is a little fitted for me, but like I said, I'm going to use it as an after later. Now I'm wearing the Gildan brand in maroon, the color maroon. The darker color doesn't look as fitted, but it is fitted. Here is the baseball tee with the navy sleeves. It's a little see-through, not as see-through as the next one's going to be. A little fitted, but that's okay. Now here's the baseball tee with the gray sleeves, and this one is very see-through. You can see my pink sports bra. Hello. All right, those were the shirts. Try them on. Um, so remember, they're an extra large. Yes, they do fit me snug right now. Who knows, maybe in a couple of months, I might use them as a uh, after video to try them on. Shirts, I bought them off at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at any art supply store of your choosing if they have them. I haven't gone to see at other art supply stores. I haven't tried Michael's, they might have them. Um, just Hobby Lobby was closer to me, so I just bought them there. You also want to maybe look at their coupons. That day they did have a 30% off on their t-shirt, so winning. The shirts were not that expensive. So the Gildan t-shirts were $4.27 a piece. So $4.27 a piece for the Gildan shirts. I got three of them. Okay, so I think I miscalculated earlier how many shirts I bought. So I bought six shirts. Yeah, so I bought two comfort color shirts and those were, okay, I think I figured it out. The comfort color shirts were $12.99, 30% off, $9 each. That's what it says here on the receipt, okay? And then the baseball tee shirts were $13.99. And those came out to $9.79 after the 30%. And then the Gildan t-shirts were $4.27, came out to $2.99 each. So yay, winning. Less than 50 bucks for six workout shirts. I do like the way they feel. The only thing with the baseball tee, it feels a little warm when I wear them. So, and they're see-through, but I still like them a lot. So I really, really do like the baseball tees. I haven't worn them yet to work out. I will let you know about that. You can definitely buy workout shirts on the cheap and you do not have to break the bank going the other name brand high, high end quality. These are really good quality shirts though. But yeah, you don't have to spend a lot of money in order to work out and feel good about yourself. You can still feel really good about yourself wearing these cheaper t-shirts when you work out. And like I said, they're good quality. That is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel so that way you can keep up with what I'm doing. And if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, like posting like I should, let me know. Holla at your girl. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time. Bye.